Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants lost to the Rockies 3-2 to today in nine innings, and and, and this, this was just a, a terrible loss for them, and it happened under the worst circumstances possible. Logan Webb pitched eight innings, allowing one run. N- not only did Logan Webb pitch today, but it, it was one of his best starts, and the Giants were unable to win it. It, it was tied one to one going into the ninth. The Giants loaded the bases and then Wilmer Flores walked the score run, put the Giants ahead two to one. In the bottom of the ninth, Camilo Doval came in to try to get the save, but he was unable to do it. That the Rockies rallied against him, and then Doval allowed a two run single. Um the Giants did challenge a, a, a collision at the plate with Charlie Blackman coming in to score for the Rockies, but it, it was it, the call on the field was upheld, and the Rockies won this game. So low scoring game. It, it it didn't seem to matter that it was at Coors Field for for most of it. It, it was just a low scoring game today, but one that the Giants just definitely should have been able to win, and it's it's a. It, 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 it was just a phenomenal Logan Webb start that went down the drain for the Giants in this game. Very, very disappointing loss for them and a, a thing they just can't afford to allow to happen. And as, as, as good and as great of a closer as Camilo Doval has been, it's, it's just been incredibly costly for the Giants the times when he has struggled this year, the, the times when he has blown a, a save. And, 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 and really, you, you could just, so that I'm not too hard on Doval, I, I, I probably need to make the point that that's, that's just like the, the way it is for every closer. You know, I, I mean, their closers have bad days and it's kind of like the end of it. And that that's that's why there's there's so much responsibility for that bullpen position but just for the Giants this year and especially right now when every game counts it was just not something they could afford to have happen so just not a good day for Doval came at a bad time and now the Giants have two teams between them and the final National League wildcard spot that said they're they're only one game behind and that that just really goes to show how close of a race it is. There, two teams ahead of them, but both of them are half a game behind the final playoff spot. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Giants are an, an entire, or the, the the Giants are an entire game behind. But that that's still very that that that's still very good for having two teams between them and and that final spot it's just a close it's just a really tight race and I'm I'm totally confident that the Giants do have what it takes to win and what it takes to get into the postseason just right now I I think over the, the doubleheader tomorrow and Sunday's game I, th- I think it's just just key for them that they use this time at Coors Field to get the bats going, and that they they're able to have it be the strength that I was really hoping that it would be, and that, that they can just take advantage of this and 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 and, and use it. And that that has been one of their strengths that when they when they can get the bats going, they, they can really get them going, but it, I, I see this as just a, a, a really good time for that, honestly. And it, it, it and it's it's just, the, these blown saves are just, I, I, I think, in, in honestly, and, and there, there are a lot of different things that would compete for being the number one killer in just critical September 
games, but blown saves is is that that that's got to be that, that's just a big one both in September and in the postseason and and losing games that that you really should win. So it, it's it's a double header for the Giants tomorrow and. Obviously, they're going to have to manage everything correctly with their pitching. And we just hope that they can do that and that their lineup, too, that everybody just maintains their energy going into this. Um, another bit of news, the Giants have optioned Kyle Harrison. And I, I don't think that's because they don't want him getting more starts here it's, it's just they, they didn't really have too much of a choice going into this series against the Rockies particularly with a doubleheader on Saturday and Ross Stripling has come off the injured list and he's he's joining the team I, I just think they they fr from what I see about it they they decided they needed a, a fresh pitcher and they to do that they, they just they they needed to manage their roster here so that's the way it's it's going to look going into tomorrow thank you for watching this has been giants baseball 101 please subscribe if you haven't also please leave your questions and comments you know where to do it i'll see you next time on giants baseball 101